what's up guys today i'm back again with once again another video and pretty much i haven't posted in like six months and i've just been pretty lazy but i'm gonna try grinding back and you know try to get some videos out for you guys so in this video i'm going to be discussing who i believe the lakers should target in next year's free agency in particular five players the five top players the lakers should target the most and number five i have jimmy butler Although Jimmy Butler was recently traded to the Philadelphia 76ers, he still becomes a free agent at the end of the season. The Philadelphia is trying to extend him, and if things don't work out, Jimmy Butler will become a free agent. A talent like Jimmy Butler fits perfectly with LeBron's game. A good shooter, a consistent scorer, someone who can play great defense, and someone who's willing to go out there every single night and give you consistent numbers. He would also fit perfectly with the young core of the Lakers and help them lift up the guys. Although he isn't known to being a great locker guy, I feel like he'd still be a great fit for the LA Lakers. At number 4, I have all-star DeMarcus Cousins. Although he is coming off an Achilles injury, which most centers cannot go back to their full selves after coming back from that injury, I still believe after signing with the Warriors, a lot of people were saying DeMarcus Cousins was going to go to the Lakers last year and see, but he surprised the whole internet and NBA by signing with the Golden State Warriors. Now this offseason, I totally believe the Lakers have a chance at getting Boogie Cousins, not only because the Warriors don't have enough money to pay him, but since they don't really have a great amount of center depth, and both of the centers, JaVale McGee and Tyson Chandler, are on one-year deals, and JaVale McGee has pretty much been putting up all-star numbers. And if the Lakers aren't willing to pay him next offseason, the Lakers could pay DeMarcus Cousins and have him as their starting center. Not only is DeMarcus Cousins an amazing body in the paint, someone who could just full-on destroy in the paint, he could also stretch the floor and shoot. And that's what the Lakers lack. And Le LeBron loves playing with the center who could shoot because it stretches out the paint and just makes everything way harder to guard. At number three, I know this may surprise a ton of you guys, I have Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard currently plays for the Toronto Raptors after being traded from the San Antonio Spurs this recent offseason. Reporters and analysts aren't exactly sure if Kawhi would want to play with the Lakers, but no, he would make a great fit. There's been reports saying he would like to play with them, reports saying he doesn't, just things keep on changing a lot and it just depends how the Raptors finish this season off and if maybe LeBron could maybe recruit him or something but Kawhi Leonard is obviously all-star talent a top four player in this league consistently provides on the offensive end and constantly provides on the defensive end and that's exactly what the Lakers need and want especially since LeBron is getting older and some of the younger guys aren't playing their best defense. Now, you guys may be wondering why I have him at number 3, and now I'm about to explain that while I say my number 2 guy. At number 2, I have Klay Thompson. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering right now why I have Klay Thompson over Kawhi Leonard and who who the Lakers should target in free agency. Not who is better. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard is a better talent and better player than Klay Thompson. But not only any, an amazing player from this league, an all-star, the second best three-point shooter in the league, only behind his teammate, Stephen Curry, you're also taking away from the Golden State Warriors, one of their key pieces and key de defensive pieces that the Warriors have. Klay Thompson is constantly used to guard some of the best players on the other teams. Also, since Klay Thompson is such a phenomenal shooter, he forces teams to close out on him and put a good defender on him to make sure he does not get an open look. Because if you give Klay Thompson an open look, you know that's going in, and if you even worse, if you get Klay Thompson hot, you know you can't stop him. Why adding Klay Thompson to the Lakers is a good move is pretty self-explanatory. Klay Thompson is a great shooter, exactly what the Lakers need, can spread the floor. And when LeBron drives and congests the paint, LeBron could easily kick it out to Klay Thompson for the wide open three that you know Klay Thompson never misses. And the number one free agent is Kevin Durant. Now, Kevin Durant is currently the second best player in the NBA, in my opinion. I know some of people have different opinions, but a general amount of people think he's the second best player, while LeBron is the number one. Now, adding KD to the Lakers puts them at contenders. 
although right now they may not be contenders, they still are considered kind of threats. And Kevin Durant is currently playing for the Warriors. Obviously, everyone knows that. And he's currently in some drama with Draymond Green, saying he, Draymond currently was saying he doesn't need him. They won a championship without him. Like, they're, they're winning without him and all that. And he's telling him to pretty much leave. And that's what caused Draymond to get suspended. And they, the Warriors are really, really offended by that because they know Kevin Durant has the opportunity to leave this offseason. And they really do not want Kevin Durant to leave because pretty much if KD leaves, the Warriors aren't on lock for a championship anymore. And if he joins the LeBron and with the Lakers, they're, they're going to be a pretty good duo. You guys know I don't exactly like KD for his basketball decision as he was a snake, a sellout. All that stuff. But besides that, KD is a phenomenal talent. And, you know, this guy can pull up in anyone's face. This guy, his mid-range is amazing. His three-pointer, he's clutch. Plays amazing defense. He's long. He's not exactly strong, but, um, yeah, he just fits. Per- he would fit perfectly with LeBron. He's, like, exactly what the Lakers need. A second star, but this is a superstar. And it would fit really well with the Lakers. And I feel like it can distribute the ball really well and bring championship mentality and leadership to the Lakers. Now, thank you guys for watching this video. And let me know in the comments below if you guys agree with my takes. I know I had some pretty wild takes with Kawhi and Clay and how I mixed those around. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe, leave a like, and see you guys next time. Peace.